I have now squeezed in as many rows as possible and I'm ready to finish off. I'm going to do this with a chain stitch and a crochet hook. Now you'll notice that the thread that has the bead on either side is a bit looser than all the rest of the threads. This is because it has gone around only half as many times as all the rest of the threads. And I'm going to take advantage of that. I'm going to take this thread on this side, the one that has the bead, and I'm going to twist it into a loop. So let's zoom in so you can see that better. And turn the camera. I'm going to make a loop with that bead thread and then I put my crochet hook into that loop. And now I'm going to take the threads in pairs off the needle and through that loop. Through the loop. And then I take the next pair and I take the old pair over the new pair. I'm taking them in pairs and the old pair over the new pair. And two by two I'm going to chain these all off. It's going to form a chain that's going to go a little chain stitch. You see the chain stitch? It's going to form a chain stitch that's going to seal off the stitches here in the middle. I want to make sure that my bead stays on the exit side. The bead the bead wants to stay on the side that as I sew up I can remove the bead, work it towards the exit which is here. Alright, I'm going to chain the rest of the way across now. So here we are at the middle, chaining. Take one and pull it through the loop. And here's the very last stitch. I'm going to make sure the bead is on the exit side and pull that last loop through. Now to stabilize that last loop I'm going to put a safety cord on there, it. Come on. And I've secured the last loop.